Hey, so I'm out for a little <clears throat> easy walk. Just wanted to make a video for you guys, even though I don't have anything particular to talk about. I'm actually waiting for my dad. He's out for a run and he's, <clears throat> he's due to come back in about five minutes, maybe, maybe 10. And so I just want to take some pictures of him, etc. when he's running by. I'm at, a, I'm at the cabin. Um, on an island here in Norway. Uh, this is right behind the cabin. It's really, really nice. Usually, it's really quiet. But now it's in the middle of peak summer, you know, so there's a lot of boats uh, nearby here. People are, you know, camping in their boats. And one of the boats, there's a bun bunch of drunk people <laughs> and they're playing loud music. So everyone's being blasted with this loud music right now. I don't know if you can really hear it though. Anyway, still fairly quiet here and very beautiful. And interestingly, this summer we have, we've had a heat wave here in Norway and it's really still kind of going. So it's really warm. I'm, I mean, I'm not used to being able to just walk around in a t-shirt and shorts in Norway without being kind of chilly. Right now I'm just being like, ah, oh, I could be naked right now. It's like so comfortable temperature, which is quite nice. I'm uh, slightly frustrated because I'm, I have a slight injury uh, in my glute. Uh, so I was supposed to run today and we have this, we have this run here on the island. Um, it's about almost nine kilometers where, um, yeah, we've been running or my dad has been running it my whole life, you know, as I was, um, as I was younger, he was always running that, and <clears throat> I used to join him sometimes. And in the last few years, of course, I've been running that route a few, a few times as well. And today, I had on my training plan that I was going to run that route, and I was going to crush the course record. Anyway, that was my plan, but it turns out I'm better off not training today because I don't want to aggravate the injury. So I'm taking a couple of days just easy. So instead of running today, I went out in the kayak and I, I did a um, little 30 minute session on the, with the kayak, tried to get my heart rate up as hard as, 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 as sort of steadily high as possible, just to stimulate, you know, the heart essentially. I'm not really able to train the legs, so I'm doing it with my arms and that stimulates the heart to beat and that maintains some of those cardiovascular adaptions. Anyway, what else can I tell you guys about? Hmm. Well, my dad should be arriving pretty soon. Um, we're at the cabin actually without my mom this time. She's, she had to work. So it's just me, my brother, my dad, and my grandfather, our grandfather. So um, my dad's dad, right? My, my dad's dad, he's with us. So we're three generations here, just guys. And it's really cool, you know, we're, we're able to bond. <laughs> and have a good time together. He's just chilling back at the cabin now. He did some of his exercises earlier, like uh, just some simple bodyweight squats and you know, just mobility and a little bit of stretching and kind of just getting the blood flowing, etc. So that's, that's good, that's the bare minimum anyway. He's in his 80s, so um, that's important that he at least does something. My dad, of course, as I said, out running, so that's really good. He's turning 60 pretty soon. Running is a good way to stay in shape as you get older. And then Mads, my brother, he is he did he went for a walk, and now today he is well he went for a walk and then yesterday he had a really hard session at the gym before we left to come to the cabin. And on Thursday he's gonna go to a gym here in the local town on the mainland and do a session there. And my dad and I were heading in also to the mainland on Thursday to do a session on the track. So hopefully my glute will be okay by then. I'm gonna do a run, easy run tomorrow just to check how it feels. And then uh, we're gonna head to the track on Thursday and see, I'm just looking back because I'm, I need to be focused when my dad comes. I'll show you guys the footage. Um, so we're going to the track on Thursday to just do some VO2 max training. My dad uh, is also running Oslo Half Marathon on the 15th of September. 
and so we're, we're, we're sort of developing a little bit of a training program for him I'm helping him just uh, plan out his build up and uh, in that process he'll do a, little, a few uh, track sessions as well probably not like at VO2 max probably more like a threshold type effort just uh, a little bit of a higher intensity just to push push his limits a little bit and getting ready for a little bit of a harder effort um, in about seven weeks or so <sighs> what else can I tell you guys I'm reading reading um, some interesting books as always uh, brought with me those books it's, it's interesting I have I have one of these uh, books from Christopher McDougall the guy who wrote the born to run book uh, natural born heroes one I think it's his latest book a few years ago he came out with that book and it's a documentary style you know just kind of like born to run but sort of a storytelling uh, type of book and I brought it with me because I typically I, I thought you know I'm at the cabin, I'm relaxing, it's nice to have a book that's a little bit less, well, a little bit more casual of a read, but I'm just not able to do it. I just, I need to read exercise physiology. It's like, it's the only thing that really satisfies me these days. So instead of reading about some story about some guys in Crete doing, uh, during the war or something, which is that book, what it's about, uh, I just need to read about gastric emptying rates in runners or uh, carbohydrate oxidation rates and uh, all that cool stuff. So I'm really a geek, I guess, it, when it comes to exercise physiology. I just really, really like to read about that stuff and learn. And so I have uh, Lore of Running with me, Timothy Noakes. So I look back in that. I've read almost the whole thing, but I'm looking through some old stuff just fresh refreshing uh, some of the principles and then I'm reading um, better training for distance runners by is it Peter Co I think so uh, and some other guy and then those are my main two books and then I also have natural born runners and I of course I brought with me Jack Daniels distance running formula as well there's affiliate links in the description by the way if you feel like buying some of these books um, so yeah, I have that with me as well because I, I'm helping my dad build his training plan and so I like to look through some of the tables, use that as a, that as a guide sometimes <clears throat> when it comes to determining paces and stuff like that. What else? I think that's it. And then I have a couple of magazines um, with me. One of them being uh, Ultra Runner magazine. I think it's called Ultra Runner, which uh, I've got, I got from Jenny Marie. She sent, sent, that, sent that to me. Thanks, Jenny. She's one of our hardcore supporters and fans. And uh, that's cool. And so, what else? Yeah, I have with my, all my training gear, a couple of different types of shoes, road shoes and trail shoes, of course. Oh, he's coming now. He is coming. Okay, I'm gonna film now, take some pictures. Hi. Hi. Go bra. did it in a pretty good time this first time running this route this year I was struggling with the zoom on the camera <laughs> trying to get the zoom to to work but I messed it up it's difficult to do filming at the same time as you're taking pictures but hopefully I ended up getting a few couple of nice pictures there yeah a couple of anyway one maybe Anyway, let's wrap it up. I'm gonna um, end the video here. Thanks for watching this random vlog, just at the cabin. Um, 
thanks for your support thanks for joining me here on this channel I, I love having you with me um, if you want to if you have any questions or if you're interested in getting coaching from me or you know maybe I could make you a training program or anything like that just contact me via the website sweetnaturalliving.com there's a there's a contact form there or you could go to the Lone Trail Facebook page and contact me there instead um, all right thanks for watching <laughs>